you know, just trying to continue what I was trying to say in the morning, you know, the important thing is, even though uh, heaven has sway over the earth, it doesn't take away the free agency that God has given to us, you know. It's a bit confusing or a paradox in some areas, and that's why some people believe in predestination. That's why those people that preach uh, once saved, forever saved, you know, they lack understanding because they don't, they're not, they're not thinking deep, right? If you just look at it on the surface, it looks like um, some people are predestined to be saved, others are not predestined to be saved, you know, but that's not true, right? Because if that is true, then God will not be just, you know, we need to always remember that the Bible explains itself. And one truth must never negate another truth. Otherwise, one of them is not true. All truths are parallel. All truths agree with one another. All truths explain one another. There's no conflict in Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Truth is a person. And Jesus is not conflicted with himself. So whenever we see two truths that seem to be negating one another, there's a problem. One of them is not true. Because truths never go against each other. All truths are parallel. All truths agree with one another. All truths explain one another. All truths elevate one another, right? So God is a just God because God is just, whatever he does is just. Meaning that on that last day when we all stand before the judgment seat, we will not give excuse that it was heaven. I'm a sinner because heaven made me sin. Oh, Judas will come. Oh, it was because it was written before time that someone must betray Jesus. I tried my best, though. I didn't want to betray him, all, but it was prophecy that made him betray Jesus Christ. <laughs> there will not be any excuse like that, you know. <laughs> uh, the word of prophecy was given that the word of prophecy was given that someone will betray Jesus Christ. You will see that no, no big word did he say Judas. He didn't mention the name of Judas. It was a word of prophecy, but that word of prophecy needed an accomplice. To come to pass. What a prophecy will sure come to pass, but it doesn't have to be Judas, right? Judas of his own will married the word of prophecy to give birth to what was given birth to. On that judgment day, Judas will give account of why he was greedy, right? It had nothing to do with the word of prophecy. Word of prophecy did not have Judas written on it. It was just that someone will betray Jesus Christ. 